So Python has this giant ecosystem of packages uh, and as a package repository. Do you have ideas of how to do that well for Mojo? Yeah. Uh, how to do a repository of packages? Well, well, so that's another really interesting problem that I knew about, but I didn't understand how big of a problem it was. Uh, Python packaging, a lot of people have very big pain points and a lot of scars with Python packaging. Oh, you and mean, uh, so there's several like things to building say. Building and distributing and yes. managing dependencies and versioning and all this stuff. So and from so, the perspective of uh, if you want to create your own package. Yes. Yeah. And then, or you want to build on top of a bunch of other people's packages and then they get updated and yeah. it's like this. Now, I'm not an expert in this, so I don't know the answer. I think this is one of the reasons why it's great that we work as a team and there's other really good and smart people involved. Um, the, uh, but one of my, one of the things I've heard from smart people who've done a lot of this is that the packaging becomes a huge disaster when you get the Python and C together. Mm -hmm. And so if you have this problem where you have code split between Python and C, mm -hmm. now not only do you have to package the C code, you have to build the C code. Mm. C doesn't have a package manager. Right, C doesn't have a dependency versioning management system, right? And so I'm not experienced in the state of the art and uh, all the different Python package managers, but my understanding is that's a massive part of the problem. And I think Mojo solves that part of the problem directly heads on. Now, one of the things I think we'll do with the community, and this isn't, again, we're not solving all the world's problems at once, we have to be kind of focused to start with, is that I think that we will have an opportunity to reevaluate packaging. Right, And so I think that we can come back and say, okay, well, given the new tools and technologies and the cool things we have that we've built up, because we have not just syntax, but we have an entirely new compiler stack that works in a new way. Maybe there's other innovations we can bring together and maybe we can help solve that problem. So almost a tangent to that question from the user perspective of packages. It was always surprising to me that it was not easier to sort of explore and find packages you know, with, with pip install yeah. and it just, it feels, uh, it's an incredible ecosystem. It's, huge. it's just uh, interesting that it wasn't made, it's still, I think, not made easier to discover packages to do yeah. like a uh, uh, search and discovery as yeah. YouTube calls it. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny because uh, this is one of the challenges of these like intentionally decentralized communities. Yeah. And so I don't know what the right answer is for Python. I mean, there are many people that would, or I don't even know the right answer for Mojo. <laughs> like, yeah, so I, there are many people that would have much more informed opinions than I do. But, but it's interesting if you look at this, right? Open source communities. Um, you know, there's Git. <laughs> Git is a fully des decentralized. Anybody can do it any way they want. But then there's GitHub, right? And GitHub centralized, commercial in that case, right? Thing. Uh, really help pull together and help solve some of the discovery problems and help build a more consistent community. And so maybe there's opportunities for, for something like a GitHub for Python. yeah. Although even so. GitHub, I might be wrong on this, but the the search and discovery for GitHub is not that great. Like I still use Google Search. Yeah, well, I mean, ma Git. maybe maybe that's because GitHub doesn't want to replace Google Search, <laughs> right? And mm -hmm. I, th I think there is room for specialized solutions to specific problems, but sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the right answer for GitHub either. That's, I, they, they can go figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is to have an interface that's usable, that's accessible yeah. to people of all different skill levels. And so well, on. well, and again, like what, what are the benefits of standards, right? Standards allow you to build these next level up ecosystem, next level up infrastructure, next level up things. And so, um, again, come back to, I hate complexity. <laughs> C, C plus Python is complicated. It makes everything more difficult to deal with. It makes it difficult to port, move code around, work with. All these things get more complicated. And so, I mean, I'm not an expert, but maybe Mojo can help a little bit by helping reduce the amount of C in this ecosystem and make it therefore scale better. So any kind of packages that are hybrid in nature would yeah. be a natural fit to move to Mojo. Which, which is a lot of them, by the way. Yeah. So. A lot of them, especially that are doing some interesting stuff computation-wise. Yep.